Cosmo. Calm. 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 Hello, storm enthusiasts and ice fishermen. Bright, sunny, nice day here in Manitoba, Canada. Balmy, nice and warm. Might even go on a t-shirt today. Good morning, Carrie. We're back here for another lot. There we go, we're back. I was on the Wi-Fi at the house and it disconnected and switched to cell service. So the stream got interrupted there for a brief second, but we're back now here live in Manitoba, Canada on another live ice fishing, fishing adventure. This time we are headed to, oh, I forgot my sunglasses, it's so sunny today, that could be a problem. Uh, this time we are headed to Pelican Lake. Going to Nanette, Manitoba. We were actually there the other day when we went to go get minnows for our last live <laughs> streaming show in Boise Bay, Manitoba, where we fished out of my ice shack. But today we are going to, to go actually fish at Pelican Lake. We are going to go stop and get some minnows there in Nanette. Manitoba and we're about half an hour from hitting the ice so we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about today we'll talk about some ice fishing talk about some storm chasing well not too much to talk about in the storm chasing world because there isn't much to chase right now we're in a we're in a slow pattern again we were in an active pattern there for a little while well, we were getting one winter storm after another. I chased a winter storm in New York, the state of New York, in, in Albany, New York, and then flew back to my car in Fargo, drove up to Winnipeg for a Winnipeg Jets hockey game, saw that Winnipeg Jets hockey game, and then the next day I drove back down to Rockford, Illinois, just outside of Chicago a couple hours, chased another winter storm there in Rockford, and then came back home and got sick and I was sick for about, I'm still getting over it. I'm not sick, I just got sinus drainage and stuff. But And then we did a little live ice fishing show the other day from my shack in Boise of Maine, Manitoba. And now today we are headed out again. It's Friday. My son Judd's at daycare, so I've got the day free to be able to take you guys on a live fishing adventure. Good morning, Darla. And here we go. We're going to hit the road here towards net. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Charles. We got a nice day here for driving. And I guess I would call it a nice day for fishing as well. It's not windy. We got sunny skies. It should be warm. Current temperature is 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty warm for this time of year. For Manitoba, we're usually at negative 25 Fahrenheit this time of year. It can get down to. In fact, we did have some uh, a brief stint of really cold weather there about a week ago. Supposed to get even warmer. It's supposed to be above the freezing temperature multiple days in a row here at the end of January into early February. I mean, maybe even like 10 degrees above freezing during the day, which is just crazy. But it's going to cause some melting problems and stuff. But I'm not complaining. We get an early start to spring, that's for sure. It's been an interesting winter. We've we've had snow, but. No big uh, snowstorms. I haven't used my snowblower once this season yet. 
here, Cosmo. Cosmo with the ice fishing leg. It's actually pretty warm in here. I have to open the window a little bit. Last my feet with heat, but open the window is my favorite way to run in the winter. Get out of those chips. Cosmo trying to eat my potato chips. Grab some snacks for the day. I got some got a sandwich and some chips. Some water and I got a coffee right now. Full tank of gas. About a 20 minute drive out to Pelican Lake from here. Uh, probably about 25 minutes from here, 30 minutes from home. But well, we're just getting started, guys. We'll go hit the ice. Hopefully, we can drive around wherever we want. There's not too bad of snow cover. I talked to a friend that fishes out there, and he said it's pretty easy to drive. But he's also got a, a Jeep, uh, a Jeep, so a Jeep Wrangler. Not a Subaru Crosstrek. So we'll see how it is out there. We're gonna get some minnows. We'll, we'll have. A, I'm gonna do. I forgot to bring my frozen minnows, but that would have been nice. So if I wanted to use a spoon or something, but I could always rip the head off one of my live minnows. But we're gonna set up one rod. I've got a jaw jacker. I've never used a jaw jacker before. I used it for the first time. Two days ago, I took my son out, just he and I went fishing. We didn't live stream. I set up a jaw jacker. If you're not familiar with a jaw jacker, it sets your rod, it, you pull your rod tip down, and the tension of the rod sets the hook when the fish bites. It's like using a tip up, except the rod is bent down. Use your rod instead of uh, just the line on the tip up. And when the fish bites, it releases a trigger, which then releases the tension of the rod, it sets the hook, and then you pull the fish in. I was trying one of those, those out for the first time the other day. It didn't even get a bite on it. We were in the shack catching all kinds of fish. For whatever reason, the jaw jacker didn't get a single bite. So, And it was only like 10 feet to the side of the shack. So we'll figure that out. But we're going to try that out today. I'm going to try and perfect that because I want to do some ice fishing competitions live. Some live ice fishing competitions. And I want to set up the jaw jacker for that. While I'm doing those competitions. And then... Uh, so we'll put a live minnow on that on that rig, get that all rigged up, and then we'll I'll probably uh, do some jigging either with a Rapala a jigging wrap, or uh, I've got some spoons, some frostbite spoons. Put a minnow head on there. Let's see if we can't catch some walleye. We've got the underwater camera set up the underwater camera as well so you guys can I can show you guys whenever there's something in the area looking at the looking at my lure but we're gonna be going after walleye here in Manitoba you can catch the limit for walleye you can catch four walleye here per day you possess four walleye so if you catch four today and you want to go fishing tomorrow and keep some but well, you're gonna have to eat some of those four that you caught today before you can keep any more. So. Uh, barbless hooks here in Manitoba, you can't have a barb on your hook, so you, when you buy a lure, you gotta bust the barb off of the hook. You know, I grew up using barbs, but I've learned to fish without them here. You just gotta keep a tight line and it makes you a better fisherman. It's better for the fish. If you release them, it doesn't cause as much damage to the fish. And you happen to catch a hook in your finger or your neck or wherever, it's easier, or in your clothes, it's easier to get that hook out of, out of you, out of your clothes or your, your body. So I'm a big fan of the barbless setup now. It's a little harder to keep your bait on without a barb, that's the only negative of 
of that. But I've uh, there's some tricks you can do with that. Like you can get a little plastic. Uh, they make these power baits, these little grub power baits. You put that on the tip of your hook and it helps keep your your minnow head or whatever you're using for bait on your hook. Good morning, everybody. Tuning in. Good morning, Sheila. Good morning, Kim. Love it if you guys would give the stream a like so other fishermen find the stream. And I'm hoping that we'll bring some fishermen into the stream to the channel and they'll be interested in storm chasing as well. And then when we're storm chasing, we'll bring fishermen in and they'll be interested. Or we'll bring uh, storm lovers in. Knocking the screen camera over. That was me, not Cosmo. I'm trying to get my charging line here. So when it's when it's slow for storm chasing, I want to keep creating content and doing videos on YouTube. And it's not always storms to chase. So between storms, you know, we're gonna I'm gonna do other outdoor adventures on my channel. We go we go ice fishing. We go regular fishing. We go hunting for agates. They're a type of rock, so we do some rock hounding. And the good thing about the agates and the rock hounding is that we can do that even while we're storm chasing. In fact. To find agates, different kind of agates, you got to drive around the country. For example, my favorite, one of my favorite agates is the Lake Superior agate. You find those in Minnesota, Wisconsin, around Lake, Lake Superior, and stuff like that. Even down into Iowa, you can find them. So there's different kinds of agates across the United States, the country, the world. So when I travel around. My plan is this spring when we're chasing storms or we're waiting for storms to develop. But we'll go hunt for agates. Hunt for agates out there. I don't like sitting around and doing nothing, so. is where we're going to enter. We're going to stop at the Tempo gas station, get some minnows. We got a dozen minnows. I got a dozen from there the other day and they gave me more like almost two dozen I think. So.
beautiful day here in Manitoba. Bright and sunny sky. Black Page. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning, Gabriella. Lakes built along a river system. We got Pelican and Crane Lake. There's like one or two more all dammed up on the river. Very good <clears throat> walleye fishing on Pelican Lake. It's a uh, very clear water on Pelican, so we were fishing at the Reservoir of Boise Bay the other day, and it's kind of a cloudy water, and the underwater camera isn't as nice, but Pelican's really clear, flat bottom, no, no structure or anything on the lake. But we're going to go set up, see if we can't find ourselves some walleye. Couple of eater walleye, 16, 17 inches around in there.
probably about 15 minutes from Nanette, Manitoba. But well, we're gonna stop at the gas station in Nanette first and get some minnows. And we'll drive out onto the ice. Almost to the net, and the temperature has been around 24, 25 Fahrenheit. You guys are new to the channel number one please give the stream a like i'd appreciate that but number two on this channel when we get a new member or a big super chat comes in you get a personal harmonica riff for your support so that's one of the perks of becoming a member is that unique one-of-a-kind personal harmonica riff well thanks everyone thanks all the members that are watching right now Connect Girl and Black Page. And who else we got on? Sheila. Yep, 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 yep. Seven minutes away from Nanette, Manitoba, where Pelican Lake is. I loves chicken. Thank you. I loves chicken. I appreciate that. Super chat. Channel support. Thank you so much. This one is for you. I loves chicken. I 
give that stream a like, guys. I'd appreciate it. We're going to bring some more fishermen in here into, into the J-Jack storm tracks. Hopefully they'll be interested in storm chasing as well because obviously that's <coughs> our bread and butter here at J-Jack storm tracks. That is a big super chat, I Loves Chicken. Thank you so much. I've got some warm coffee too here. Cheers to all the coffee drinkers out there. Five minutes away from the net. Stop and get some minnows. guys we're getting close getting close you can smell those minnows now Cosmo's like, pumped. Look at Cosmo, he's pumped. He can barely contain himself. Thank you guys for all that support. I appreciate that. We're trying something new here, guys, with this live streaming ice fishing. We're trying to build the channel to 100,000 subscribers, trying to bring in new folks to the stream, folks with different interests. to bring cross interest fishermen that are that might be interested in storm chasing that don't even know about it and storm weather enthusiasts that are interested in fishing so plan to do lots of outdoor adventure videos rock hounding and camping and hiking and fishing but most importantly we are storm chasing and weather lovers here at J.A. Jack Storm Tracks trying to get out there, provide warnings to the public, first responder assistance if necessary. Thank you, Darla! This one is for you, Darla, as we roll into the net, Manitoba. Thank you! 
You guys rock. We're the best small YouTube channel on YouTube in the community. Ever growing, guys. We are always constantly trying to grow here. I've got a goal to hit 100,000 subscribers this year, so that's why I'm going to try and do things. Even when there's no storms, I can't. I don't want to chase rain and fog and stuff like that, so I'd rather take you guys on other outdoor adventures than just looking at rain and fog or something like that. So here we go. We're coming into Tempo here to get some Manny's Live Bait Manny's. Sold here, Manny's Live Bait.
All right, guys, we got our minnows, and I also forgot. I don't. I lost my ice scoop recently. It's my good, my little, my mobile one. I have one in the shack, but I had to get an ice uh, ice scoop as well. And they had two in there. They had one that has a measurement on it, so I measured this. But this one, it's 18 inches long, so now we can measure it. But I'm gonna put these fish in the back. Oh, we get another support coming in here? No, that's an old one. All right, hold on a sec, guys. Stay. All right, guys, let's go head out to the reservoir. <laughs> I was talking to a guy in there. He recognized me from the Boy Savane Reservoir. He's like, oh, you're going to try it out here today. I said, yeah. He's like, oh, are you that? You're that. I was like, oh, that's that storm chaser. <laughs> LOL car, guys. Lol car is spotted again. Lol car sighting and Nanette. Manitoba, so here we go. Let's go find the ice. I think you get to uh, to the ramp to access the lake down over here. So we'll probably do a lot of moving around today, guys. We'll see if we can find some fish and bounce around from, with the vehicle until we find some fish. If we find some, maybe we'll set up the tent. All right, here we go. Here's the ramp. There's another bait shop right there. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This way. I haven't tried out this way before. I fished out here once last year. It's gonna be nice. We're gonna do a little thing here. We're gonna plug this seatbelt in, but behind me, so I'm not gonna have to wear it. Check it out right here. Right here. We're going to check things out, right? 
right here, guys. Let Cosmo out. I gotta pee really bad, too. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here on Pelican Lake. We're gonna get out, cut some holes in the ice. Come on. All right, I use the bathroom real quick. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys out of the car, get the battery pack plugged in. Show you guys this beautiful scenery out here. Beautiful rye mice on the trees up in the hills there. battery pack plugged in here. Okay, right, should be charging. We'll cut a hole right here. See what it looks like depth wise here not a not a deep lake and not a lot of depth changes no structure just a flat mud bottom
dog, Cosmo. He sees you. He's going to come get you. Yeah, very shallow here, like five feet deep. Two feet of ice, five feet of water. No marks. Well, let's give it a shot for a little bit. Cosmo. I'm gonna set this jaw jacker up too with the minnow and then we'll cut a second hole. Try this for a little bit and if we don't see anything, no marks or no bites, then we'll try another spot. Just kind of bounce around today. Oh, there's a mark. There's a fish down there. Just had a mark. Shallow, just below the surface. Looks like there's one on the bottom too. Yeah, he's down there again, just below the surface. About two feet below the ice, marking a fish. I'm gonna take this bow off. Don't really need it. This kind of gets in the way anyway. This rod doesn't work the best for the jaw jacker. fish at the on the bottom looks like turn the sensitivity down yeah this thing came off again for the jaw jack
it's all done. Actually, Nia, I want to put it a little deeper. Let's take some more line out. Hold on. There we go. Fish on the bottom right now. Looking at it. Looks like a little perch, Mark. Okay. We'll get another uh, hole cut and drop the camera down. Oh, I forgot my little camera mount thing. It makes it easier to see. Or easier to get it aim in the right direction. It's in the shack. Oops. So we might struggle with that. We'll see what we can do. It's really hard to get it pointed and stay pointed in the right direction without that little tripod holder thing. Cosmo's just sniffing around over there.
hard to see in without him being in the, having the tent up. I did bring my ice tent, my ice fishing tent out in case we find a hot spot to set up. But I'm not gonna set it up. Yeah, we're just gonna see if we can find some fish. One thing about walleye fishing, guys, is that it is better walleye fishing in the evening, right at sunset, after dark. Do some jigging here with my big jigging Rapala. This can help bring in fish from a greater distance and then they'll see the minnow here on the jaw jacker and hopefully bite that or maybe bite this too, but. but we'll do some jigging here see if we can attract something in. We'll try this for a bit. We don't mark any fish or get any bites. Then we'll uh, we'll try a new spot. Gotta move you guys a little bit here. Might be a little too close to this jaw jacker with this jigging wrap, so it's possible I could hook my hook this rod by accident. But I didn't mean to use this hole for this. I was gonna just use it for the camera, but you can't see anything anyway. Another good technique you can do with your jigging lure is drop it down all the way down to the bottom. So it's sitting on the bottom right now, and I'm gonna bounce it off the bottom of this lake. It's a muddy lake, it's clear water. Fish see that mud stir up and they think something's going on over here and they'll come investigate. Bounce it off the bottom a bit. And then we'll reel it just above that dirt cloud and jig up above it. I was marking something, I guess, down there. I thought it was just my bait. And I'm not marking it anymore, so it must have been a fish. It was a big mark, and I turned my sensitivity down, so I think it was a fish checking out my my minnow. Yeah, it was. There's nothing now. There's when I turned the sensitivity up, I can see my minnow. Now. Get out of here! Get! Northern pike in here too. You can catch northern pike, catch walleye. Oh, there's a fish down there now. I'm getting a mark again. Checking out my minnow. Seems like a small fish though, maybe like a perch or something. Good morning, Bill Barkley. Would love it if you guys gave the stream a like, helps other people find the live stream. We're here on Pelican Lake in Manitoba, fishing for walleye or just whatever, but main target is walleye.
Thank you, Jake the Snake. Got a couple of marks down there. They must be a uh, perch. Man, this ice is, uh, I would say we got 20 inches of ice out here. At least, maybe approaching two foot, two foot of ice. Jaw jacker, more like J jacker, right? I don't think there's any wolves here. It's coyotes. Bounce it off the bottom some more, see if we can attract some fish. Now there's a lot of walleye out here in Pelican Lake. It's a good walleye fishery. There's a lot of little ones though too. But there are some big walleye out here. I believe this lake had a fish kill a few years ago. It froze over, cut off the oxygen supply and a lot of walleye, a lot of fish died. Uh, but they've since put an aerator out here, so that helps keep it, keep that fish kill from happening in the winter. Keeps the, the reservoir oxygenated. Some couple trucks coming out here, Cosmo's trying to go after him. I'll beep him. He's got his buzzer collar on, so stay. Cosmo, leave it. Leave it. You hear that ice shifting from cars, these two trucks driving on it. Stay, leave it. I need to hook up my, uh, what do you call it? It's a uh, tantrum, my frostbite tantrum lure. I might hook that up. Instead of this search bait, jigging wrap search bait. Make some noise down there. Do a little rattle rattle.
talking to my buddy that fishes out here on Pelican. So we'll slowly uh, bounce around and work our way that way towards that shore over there. Start here and work our way that way. Try every uh, 100 yards or so. Fox. You guys are just joining. We're here on Pelican Lake in Manitoba, Canada. Doing a little ice fishing. Obviously, we're ice fishing. Looking for some walleye. Got a live minnow all set up on the jaw jacker here, and then we're jigging a jigging wrap over here on this side, trying to pull in fish from distance. Look for some, uh, trying to catch some eater walleye out here. Been eating a lot of fish because I've been catching a lot of walleye this winter. My favorite way to eat them now, we, uh, we deep fry them just like normal. And uh, either some uh, some kind of pre-mixed uh, batter, flour batter. And I've been making fish tacos, guys. Walleye and perch fish tacos. Uh, we're looking for walleye bill but there are pike out here but i wouldn't mind catching a, a really big pike they call them jackfish here in canada but i prefer walleye and for eating definitely walleye the pike you can eat them and they're good eating but they're a pain to clean because they have a lot of bones in them just make sure the live stream camera is charging here yeah, it looks like it's charging. Should get above freezing today. It was uh, 25 degrees when we got out of here Fahrenheit. I can feel that warm sun on my neck.
I've already blasted through my coffee. Show you guys what I'm jigging over here. So we got this purple and white jigging wrap, a big size one too. Uh, what is the weight on this thing? It's a seven eighth ounce jigging wrap, so it's a bigger size one. Goes to a sw got a, a swivel here, so your line doesn't get twisted up. A clear mono leader, I think about 12 pound test line. And then a swivel here to threaded line here. Using this is called a search bait. It moves around a lot when you jig it up and down and it helps bring in fish from a distance. And then over here on the jaw jacker, we've got a live move. Quite a few people fishing today. I see one. I see a guy dragging a shack over there. There's a car and a shack over here. A few cars out over this way at their shack. There's a hotel over here just on the shore that we're in front of. It's supposed to have good pizza. But it's nice out today, so I decided to come out here to Pelican Lake instead of sitting in my shack in Boise Vein. Get some fresh air, get some sun on the face. No wind. That always makes it better for being outside fishing when there's no wind. There's zero wind right now. It's as still as can be. Well, we'll give this another 15, 20 minutes of this spot and then we'll, we'll move, move over this direction a bit. I think I hooked my, <laughs> I think I hooked my jaw jacker line, guys. I see it moving when I jig. No, thought I did. Or maybe I didn't, it came, broke free. I didn't cut this hole originally. Before jigging and I was gonna, I tried to set the camera up here All right, we're sitting on the bottom now. We're gonna jig it off the bottom a bit, try and stir up the dirt, trying to track some fish in. Now we'll jig just above that dirt cloud down there.
too bright, can't see the bottom. Yeah, jigging wrap. I think we got a mark on the bottom right now, guys. Cosmo's sniffing around. It's probably eating fish guts or something over there. No, Bill, the uh, auger's working fine now. No problems there. Thanks for everybody that's tuning in. I'd love it if you gave the stream a like so we can bring in uh, some new viewers. If you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you subscribed. We're uh, normally a storm chasing channel, but we do all outdoor adventures and we're doing live ice fishing now. And so there's no, no storms to chase right now. It's a little slow. We just had an active period though. We were uh, chasing one winter storm after another. First in Albany, New York, then Rockford, Illinois. It's biding our time until severe weather season. Well, we'll chase some more uh, winter storms. Uh, another event we got coming up, guys, we'll be live streaming at the solar eclipse on April 8th. So that should be a fun, fun chase and live stream adventure. Nice and quiet out here when there's no cars driving by. Beautiful day, mostly sunny. A little bit of high level cirrus, hazy clouds up there. Just below the freezing mark, should get above freezing later. All right, we got a mark on the bottom again. Might switch to my tantrum lure.
Might switch to this. The color is called Frosty Clownfish. It's a tantrum lure by Frostbite. You can hear it, let me hold the hooks. It's got some steel beads in it, so it rattles when you jig it. Oh. Can help bring in some fish from distance. Yeah, there we go, I did hook. I hooked up on my jaw jacker <laughs> and my minnow's gone. Well, that doesn't help. All right, let's put a new minnow on there and then we'll... drop it back down. I was worried about that. That's why I didn't cut this hole for for jigging. I cut it for the camera and decided to use it because I, I thought it'd be too close. And sure enough, too close, hooked up on my... The tantrum won't move around as much, so I should be able to use it this close without having any problems. All right, we'll drop that back down. Let it straighten back out over here. Hole's icing up a little bit. I need it to warm up. Okay. Let's get this big jigging wrap off of there. Frosty clownfish. It's on the line now. it off the bottom a little bit. Fish on the bottom.
Probably been sniffing around over there. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is uh, my fish finder. Not a very fancy one, just uh, your typical, I'll show you guys. You can see that mark. This mark right here is my lure. This is the bottom. This is my lure. Let's see if I lift the rod up, it'll move. If a fish shows up, there'll be another mark there that's even brighter. That's if, if it's bigger than the lure. Pretty slow so far. A lot more action at the Boise Wayne Reservoir, but the walleye fishing in here can be really good, really good walleye action. If you can find them. Might be time to move here in a minute. Eleven twenty-five. 
We'll give it till 11.35 and then we're going to move to a new spot. Get, get out of there. Yeah. Not even a bite yet, guys. Not even really a good mark. Maybe some small perch off the bottom earlier, but pretty slow so far. Just a little bit of breeze and it makes it a lot colder. A little bit of ice on the line. <whistles> Cosmo! Oh, 
Oh, we got a fish down there, guys. We got a fish licking. Get ready. He's licking. Oh, he was. We had a licker. Finally got a mark. Let's see if he maybe he went over to the jaw jacker over here. Oh, he's back. Get ready. Ooh, had a bite. Missed him. He's still down there. Get it back down. A little one. A little walleye, felt like. Just tapped it. Oh, he's back. He's down there. He's looking at it again. Get ready. I'm going to drop it on the bottom. See if I can get him to take it off the bottom. Bring it just above that dirt cloud now. Give it some jigs. Let it sit. Not marking them now. Maybe looking at the minnow on the jaw jacker. Oh, he hit it again. He's back down there. The little one. Oh, he's back. Get ready. We're going to get him this time. Let's see if I can get him to chase it. Lifting it up a little. He's coming up to it. Swam off. He came up to it. It's a little walleye. He's back. Oh, I missed him again. <laughs> it's a little one teasing me. He's not taking it, he's just tapping it. Need a smaller. 
smaller lure for him. Drop it off the bottom again. See if he comes back. Swam off. We're gonna catch this little guy. If he comes back. Surprised he hasn't hit the live minnow on the jaw jacker yet. He might be gone now. May have given up. My hand got wet and a little cold. Need my thin gloves on. That wind picked up and made it a lot chillier. Yeah, that fish is gone now. Well, he liked that tantrum. That frosty clownfish tantrum. But I think it was a little guy, so I was having a hard time hooking him. He was just tapping it. I wasn't getting a big mark on the fish finder, so. Between the mark and what I was feeling on the hit, I could tell it was a smaller one. Make sure I still got a minnow on this jaw jacker. Shallow enough, I can just pull it in by hand, lift it up. Yeah, still got a minnow. Surprised he didn't go after that. I did have a smaller tantrum, but I lost it. Need to get another one. That smaller tantrum would have been perfect. For that fish. Cosmos, stay. Stay.
Hello, Poppy. Paw Pop. Uh, I like the sunflower seeds during the summer. Yeah, Bill, we just had a we just had a fish, a little walleye that was messing with us. Had a couple of hits, but couldn't hook him. It's a tiny one, I think. Lure is too big for him. No shack today because I decided to try out a different lake that I don't have my shack on, and it's nice out today. Nice-ish, right around freezing. Should be above freezing later, so fish outside today. But yeah, we're just eating peanuts today. Bounce it off the bottom, stir up the bottom a little bit, see if we can attract some fish. A lot warmer in the shack. <laughs> oh, I was tangled up on my line there. Oh, we got a fish down there, no? Just got a mark. Unless that was my minnow in the hole next to it. But I don't think that was the minnow. Yeah, he's on the bottom right now. There we go. Got one. I'm the jaw jacker, guys. Big perch. We'll keep that perch. Here's that perch, good eater size perch. I think that minnow is dead. Yeah. We'll put that minnow's head on. Oh, he's still alive, but 
Let's get a fresh mint on in there. Get this jaw jacker rigged back up. That's the first fish I've ever caught on the jaw jacker. I just got it. Trying something new out. Never used one before. Move the fish finder over here so I can get my depth set right. Okay. Jaw jackers rigged back up. dispatch this perch. hands cold.
Well, I was gonna move, but got some action now suddenly. Caught one perch. Had a little walleye messing with us. Looks like there's uh, something on the bottom again. Maybe another perch on the bottom. Bounce it off the bottom a little. Cosmo's coming back. You missed the fish, Cosmo. He's licking it. Get, get away from my minnow. Cosmo, get away from the rod. Get, he's trying to get a peanut. Hello, Jersey. Yeah, walleye are good. We're trying to catch walleye, but so far we've caught one perch. Can you guys even see this other rod over here on the, the jaw jacker on the live stream? Oh yeah, you guys can see it. So you would have seen it set. Now, walleye, in my opinion, are the best tasting freshwater fish. 
perch are good too. I mean, perch tastes basically the same as walleye. I just like walleye because you get a bigger fillet off of them. You don't have to clean as many. Pike tastes about the same too, but pike are a pain because they have a lot of bones. So a pain to clean. Peanut for the fish.
Let's see if we can bring some fish in. Oh, I see the peanut on the fish finder floating down to the bottom. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. If you're new to the channel, that was one of the perks of becoming a member of the channel or big super chats. You get your own personal harmonica, one of a kind harmonica riff played for you. I think there's a fish on the bottom now. He's probably eating that peanut and listening to my harmonica. Excuse me. Well, hiccup there, coffee and peanuts. Well, we're out here on Pelican Lake in the net, Manitoba, doing a little ice fishing for walleye, some perch. In fact, that's all we've caught so far is one perch. There's also northern pike out here, jackfish as they call them here in Canada. Thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you guys gave the stream a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe or like. We're normally an ice fishing, or sorry, we're normally a storm chasing channel. It's our main uh, task here on, on YouTube, but we also do a lot of outdoor adventuring, ice fishing, rock hunting, rock hounding, looking for agates. Especially when we're storm chasing, it's good to look for agates. Hiking, camping, generally enjoying the outdoors. Cosmo's warming me up, warming my hand up. He's got some very fuzzy feet. Look at these feet. They get all covered up in snow and ice and he rips them off and makes himself bleed. <laughs> uh, today we're ice fishing in Nanette, Manitoba on Pelican Lake. It's a good walleye fishery here. Leave that. Jersey, Texas. Thank you, Jersey, for becoming a member. This one is for you, Jersey. Hold on a second. Get the old harmonica. I'm keeping it warm in my pocket. This one is for Jersey guys. Thank you, Jersey, for supporting the channel. I appreciate that. I got some ice on my beard and got caught in the harmonica. Hurt a little.
Get out of here. Get. Get. You're going to set off the jaw jacker, Cosmo. Curtis Reimer. Thank you, Curtis. I love that. Thank you, Curtis. This one's for you, Curtis. Hopefully you didn't leave yet. This is for Curtis. Hold on, Curtis. Uh, uh, hold on, Curtis. Don't go yet. Can't get it open with the gloves. Hold on, Curtis. This one's for Curtis, guys. Thank you, Curtis. I appreciate that. Have a good day. Hopefully you heard it. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I see we got a few new subscribers to the channel as well. I appreciate that. We're working on getting to 100,000 subscribers this year. In 2024. Storm chasing is a little slow right now. Not much to chase, just rain and fog. But uh, we were just active. We were chasing a couple of winter storms. One in New York and Albany, New York a few weeks ago and then uh, less than a week later, I was in Rockford, Illinois, chasing another winter storm. So we had an active period there of winter storms. Things have slowed down now. Of course, we're uh, very excited here at J-Jack Storm Tracks for severe weather season, chasing tornadoes. If you guys are new to the channel and you missed it last year, we had an incredible chase in Alberta, near Didsbury, Alberta documented an incredible tornado there. I highly recommend checking out that video on my channel. Most viewed video on the channel, 1.6 million views. I've actually posted a couple of different videos from that chase on the channel. I did one recently where I uh, included the handheld footage that I shot during the chase and also mixed in the 360 camera shots that I had. So that one's worth viewing as well. And if you have 360 virtual reality goggles, I highly recommend the 360 experience. It's incredible. It's like being right there with the, with the goggles on. Cosmo, stay. There's another dog in that truck. Beautiful Friday, midday Friday here in Manitoba. Just below freezing, sunny skies. We're here on Pelican Lake in the net Manitoba. Got a sandwich in the car and a bag of chips for lunch here in a little bit. Yeah, we might explore the lake a little bit. We might go that way a little bit. I got distracted. I was going to move and then we caught a perch and we're marking a walleye was trying to bite. And then I got a little distracted by that and we didn't move, but maybe we don't need to move. I don't know. Oh, I got to stretch the legs. Make sure we don't get any blood clots. Get some sun on the face. Whew. Nice.
Hopefully you guys are enjoying this content. Hoping to bring you guys out here. Not everybody can ice, not many people in the world can ice fish. Got to be in a location that you get enough ice. And these days, those areas are shrinking, it seems like. I used to ice fish all winter in Indiana growing up as a kid. Well, not all winter, but pretty much from January on, I was ice fishing until uh, March. And now my friends in Indiana hardly get to ice fish anymore because the ice doesn't stick around. If you guys are wondering what I'm using, we got this frostbite tantrum jigging artificial lure here. So we're using that in one hole over here to try and bring in fish from a distance. It's got a rattle in it. And then over here, we got a live minnow on the jaw jacker. like there's a fish on the bottom maybe Let's see if we're gonna bounce it off the bottom in the in the mud and we'll pull it just above the mud a little bit the mud cloud see if we can trigger a bite if, he is, if there is one on the bottom there Another truck coming. Cosmo's coming back. Good dog, good come, leave it. Knocking ice into my hole, dog. Windy now. There's a good breeze there. All right, might be time to think about trying a new spot here in a minute.
Cosmo, get away from that. Twelve twenty. All right, we'll give it to twelve thirty. If we don't mark any fish or get any bites, then we're gonna move. start warming the car up.
1226. No marks or bites. Maybe one on the bottom right now. No. Maybe not. Might just be the wind blowing my fish finder a little bit.
All right, guys, it might be time to move spots now. I haven't marked anything or had a bite in a while. Pulling the fish finder. Couple more jigs. Lost our minnow on this. Try a new spot. Cosmo, you ready to try a new spot? We're gonna head out this way. There's the little uh, resort hotel thing and restaurant. Sure. We're gonna head towards those hills over there. Out over this way. Somewhere out there. Cosmo, come. Get in the kennel. And we'll warm up a little bit in the car. For a ride, a little doggy. Make 
make sure we're gonna stay around after blast through a little drift over here. like having a boat. Face the sun this time so it's warmer and use the car to block the little bit of wind. shacks out there. way out there see that Columbus shacks there's like nothing 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 and then hold on. big Columbus shacks out there in the middle Well, if you guys are just tuning in, we're here in Nanette, Manitoba, on Pelican Lake, doing some ice fishing, looking for some walleyes. We've got uh, one perch that we caught so far, and we caught a couple, uh, had a couple of hits from, uh, I think it was a little walleye, but pretty slow so far. So we moved about, I don't know, about a quarter of a mile or so further along to the... See, this is south, so to the east. We're gonna try here. I'm just warming up my hands and feet a little bit here for a second. We'll get a couple of holes cut. Yeah, no more wasting time. Let's go cut some holes. Put you guys back.
battery pack plug back in here. Get the jaw jacker set up first. Nice sun on the face. Just make sure this camera set up good to get holes in frame. Kinda. Now we're charging, I think. Put the jaw jacker over here. Check this out. deeper here guys eight and a half feet taking the ice into consideration nine feet that's good a little deeper Sniffing for new snacks. New location, new snacks to sniff for. Hopefully, new fish. Come on. Car's working as a decent wind block.
little bit of wind getting underneath. Depth set. Let's get the jaw jacker set. I'm gonna take my glove off to do this. Oh, it's a lot warmer facing the sun. I was in the shadow of the Subaru earlier and it was colder. This is a lot better. I think I got a mark on the bottom. Jaw jacker is set, guys. Oh, there's already a fish there. Get ready. We might catch one on the jaw. We got a fish looking at the jaw jacker. Marking a fish looking at the jaw jacker. Get ready. Let's see if that, get, that goes. I'm going to get my other rod. Good move already. We already got action. He's back. He's looking. We're going to get a bite over here. This is a bigger mark than a perch. This is a walleye, I think. It's chasing the middle around. Mark seems to be gone. Let's get the tantrum down. Let's see if we can catch this fish. Well, that's a good sign, guys. I already got a mark. He's gone, though. He didn't bite. Let's see if we can get him on this tantrum. the fish finder over to the active jigging hole. I'm gonna move this over here so you guys can see the jaw jacker. Let me make sure both rods are in frame here real quick. Yeah, we got both in frame, but we're not charging. My iPhone has messed up the charger port. Don't have a good connection. Thanks everyone that's joining in. If you're just tuning in, we are on Pelican Lake in Nanette, Manitoba. Looking for walleye. I appreciate you give the stream a like. Helps other people find the stream. Let's see if we can catch some walleye now. We just moved, we were at another spot for about an hour and a half earlier, caught one perch. Had I think a small walleye teasing. Try hit a couple, hit my lure here, my tantrum, frostbite tantrum, jigging lure a couple of times. So we just moved, just got set up again and we dropped the live minnow down on the jaw jacker and had a mark, a fish looking at it, but didn't catch him. Looked like a bigger mark too, like a walleye.
spot's a lot better. I got the car blocking the wind somewhat. I got some nice sun warming me up. I was in the shadow of the Subaru earlier, so it's kind of cold, but this is a lot better. We're gonna try this for a bit, eat some lunch, and if this is no good, we'll move to a new spot again. Let's see if we can draw some in. Ready? This is what all new members of the channel get right here, guys. Your own, or big super chats. Your own big, unique, personal harmonica riff. Let's see if that pulled some fish in. If that doesn't work, I might have to throw some peanuts down the hole. I'd love it if you guys gave the stream a like. Travel to Pelican Lake in the net Manitoba to give us a shot out here and it's nice out today so we're fishing outside today enjoying some nice beautiful Sun temps hovering around the freezing mark jigging the frostbite tantrum artificial lure in this hole and then we got a live minnow on the jaw jacker on the hole to my right there Had a mark as soon as we got here, and now nothing. He wouldn't bite the minnow though. We're gonna bounce it off the bottom, stir up the dirt a little bit, see if we can draw some fish in. Wind's really picking up.
Hello, Paul's Blind Soup for the Soul. Uh, I think we got a, maybe a mark on the bottom. Twenty-four perch in Finland. Nice. Good work, Marku. If you're new to the channel, we're normally a storm chasing channel, but there's nothing to storm chase right now. So when there's nothing to storm chase, we live stream other adventures like ice fishing, rock hounding, looking for agates, camping, hiking, biking. Today we are ice fishing on Pelican Lake in Nanette, Manitoba for walleye. But so far we haven't caught any walleye, we've only caught one perch. We just changed locations, so we're hoping that helps. If you're familiar with walleye fishing, they're generally better closer to sunset after dark. But we're going to give this a shot today. You can catch them during the day still anyway, but they generally bite better after dark right at dark or after dark. They have very, very good night eyesight, so when they prefer to hunt for their food when it's dark. Unfortunately, uh, they also bite, all fish bite better when there's a storm approaching too, so there's no storms approaching right now. So it'll be a little slower because of that, but if we had a storm, a winter storm coming, man, we'd probably be hammering them right now. They'd be jumping out of the hole. I was just wondering where he was. It's coming up from behind me over here, over my right shoulder, probably left shoulder on the camera. Hey, get off of there! I just peed on my fish finder. Stupid dog. Lucky I didn't get that shock remote out. Man, I thought we were gonna like just be catching them here when I had that mark as soon as I got the live minnow down the hole on the jaw jacker. Now nothing.
stir up the dirt a little bit. That's a walleye, it feels like. Yeah. It's a good eater size. But we got one walleye, one perch there. Let's see if we can catch another one. Maybe another inch, closer to two inches, I would have kept it, but yeah, it's probably about 15 inches. I forgot my, my, my tape measure, so I can't measure them. It was right around the 15 inch mark, maybe a little less. It could have been like 14 inches. I didn't want to risk it, so I will keep that one. It was on the smaller size, but if it was another inch or two, I would have kept it. So that's one walleye, one perch.
I didn't even, he didn't even mark on the fish finder. He just came in and hit the, hit the lure. Bounce it off the bottom again, stir up the dirt. Time to eat lunch, guys.
close to 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. bite maybe. It's usually when I start catching a walleye starting about 2, 2.30. Uh, especially right before sunset, right at sunset. I mean, that seems like it slows down a little bit <clears throat> and then turns back on after dark. And then you can catch them all night if you stay out. Now that I'm done eating, stir up the mud a little bit. Just above the dirt cloud. Like the line is twisted up on it now. Let's fix it. Reel it in and fix it. There you go. You can see the hook caught on the line. Get that off. Blow on it. Or good luck. Drop it down. Let it hit the bottom. Bounce it off the bottom. Stir up the mud. Just above the dirt cloud. Bounce it. Let it sit. Big jig. Let it sit. Big jig. Let it sit. Bounce it. Stand for a bit, stretch my knees out, bounce it. 
bounce it off the bottom. Pull it just above that mud cloud. Bounce it. That's it. chips on the ground now. There's another one. Dirt cloud. Bounce it. Cosmo finds those chips on the snow. There he goes, he smells them. Found them.
7.30, almost time for the two o'clock bite. Thank you. fish. Got a fish down there, guys. Get ready. He's looking. Big one. He left. Oh, we had a looker, guys. Let's see if he hits the. Maybe he hit the jaw jacker. I'm gonna drop it in the mud. We had a looker, guys. Big one, too. That was probably an eater. Could be looking at the minnow over here. Come on. Come on, fish. See, the harmonica worked, guys. Serenaded them in.
thought that one was gonna bite for sure. Surprised he didn't bite the live minnow over here. Gotta look tasty down there. Get your nose out of there. Stop it. Yeah, still got a minnow.
not him barking, but... Oh, there he is. He's coming back. Might be marking one on the bottom. We'll see here. Just above the mud cloud. Bounce it. on the line. p.m. bite territory. We caught one walleye, Ken. But he was a little on the small side. And I forgot my tape measure, so I threw him back. It would have been like another inch or two bigger, I would have kept it. All right, now we're tangled up on the line a little. Yeah. All right, I got to reel it in and fix it now.
chair. <laughs> He's been killing me. Ah.
Peterson. And that guy walked along. There's a guy who walked out with his dog on it, and he has a sled for this gear. He has hiked a long ways out. I don't know why he didn't drive. Maybe he wants to exercise. It's a nice day for a walk on the ice, that's for sure. Bright blue sky. Well, if you're just tuning in, we were on Pelican Lake in Nanette, Manitoba. Been here since about 11 a.m. or so. And we caught one perch and one walleye. A couple other bites. Marks on the fish finder. It's been pretty slow. But it's a beautiful day out here. It's 2 o'clock. Central time will stay till about 3.40ish or so. And I gotta pick up my son by 4.30. We got one looking, get ready. We got a looker. He looked at it and then he scared off. Maybe I'll go to the jacker. Let's drop it down into the mud, bounce it in the mud. First mark we've had in about half an hour.
The one I caught earlier, I didn't even mark. All of a sudden, he just hit. Cosmo barking at something. Oh, he's back, looking. Lifting it up, see if I can get him to chase it. Come on, fish, bite. Left again. Drop it down in the mud again. Stir up the mud a little bit. Make it look like a fish is feeding in the mud. Sean, yeah, we've caught uh, one walleye and one perch so far. A couple of other bites, a couple of marks. Had a couple of looking, but couldn't get them to hit. Like just now. Let's see if he comes back. Slow fishing, but beautiful day. Nice and relatively warm in this warm sun feels good on the face Cosmos running around sniffing stuff peeing on stuff he even peed on my fish finder darn dog tried to steal my potato chips actually he did steal some Hoping to catch at least one uh, keeper size walleye to go with this perch I caught. Be enough to feed the family.
Oh, we got one looking again. Get ready, guys. I'll lift it up a little bit, see if he'll chase it. No. Yeah, he did. He's chasing it. No. Yeah, he's looking at it. Here we go. Missed him. Light tap. Just hit it a little bit. I think my line's twisted on the lure now. Let's check it. Yeah. Let's get it back down. In case he's still around. He's down there. He's at the bottom. Dropping it down to him. Ooh, it's a big one. Get ready. It's a walleye for sure. The way he's acting. We're going to bounce it in the mud. Pull it just above the mud cloud now. He's gone. Not marking him now. Come on, fish. Hit it. He didn't hit it very hard. He just kind of tapped it. He's back. Get ready. He's looking at it. I'm going to raise it up a little bit, see if I can get him to chase. No. Maybe. Slam off. Definitely a walleye, the way it's acting on the fish finder. Good size one too. Probably a keeper. Come on, fish. I can't believe he hasn't gone after that live minnow over there on the jaw jacker. I'm gonna give it a little jig. Lots of people coming out now for that afternoon sunset bite. Fortunately, we're going to have to leave right when it gets hot. <laughs> Couldn't get him to bite. <sighs> Seems to be gone now.
He even got him to chase it a little bit and he still didn't bite. Usually if they follow it up like that, they'll bite, but no such luck. I think there's one on the bottom. <whistles> My line's twisted on the, caught on the hook, yeah.
Yeah, I tried. She uh, that one just didn't want to really bite too aggressively. One little tap on the lure, but. Actually, I'm surprised it didn't go after the the live minnow over here. That was kind of strange. Huh? Deep in
Hey, Neil. Yeah. We've got uh, caught one perch, one walleye. Had a few marks, a few bites. But it's been pretty slow. Not like it was the other day in the ice shack. And I'm using a... <clears throat> on this route, I'm jigging a frostbite tantrum artificial lure. We just marked the fish on the bottom. There's a little one, though, it looks like. And over here, we've got a live minnow on the jaw jacker, so it acts as like a tip up. It's the rod is bent over and set, so that if a fish bites it, flings up and sets the hook. Yeah, we're marking something on the on the bottom. It looks like. I'm gonna drop the bait down into the mud. Bounce it in the mud. Sure we're causing it. Yeah, we'll pull it just above that. This SUV is just driving around in circles on their own, like they're looking for, looking for their spot or something. Those cows are way over there, keeping them to come back. Show you guys a lure. So this is called a frostbite tantrum. The maker is frostbite. The lure is a tantrum, and the color is frosty clownfish. So we'll stay out about another hour and then I gotta leave to pick up my son from daycare. G bro from northern Indiana. I grew up in northern Indiana in Laporte, Indiana. Walkerton, I've been to Walkerton a lot. Used to go to uh, Shipshawana nearby, to the east of there. Quite a ways from Walkerton, but Walkerton's just, Walkerton's Laporte County, so just east of Laporte. 
I used to go to the, I used to fish on Fish Lake. Gee, bro. I used to ice fish. Grow, I grew up ice fishing on Fish Lake and regular ice and regular fishing. Some really good sized uh, bluegills in there in the spring on the spawn. And there's even a little bit. I caught a walleye out there the last time I fished it, which was God. It would have been like 2005. Actually, I uh, went with my friend Jeff uh, bow fishing on Fish Lake in 2000, like nine or 2010. That's the last time I was on Fish Lake in Fish Lake, Indiana, just to the to the west of Walkerton. driving around like they're drunk <laughs> don't know where they're going they drive a little bit and they stop and then they drive a little bit and they left and drove off and now they're back weirdos There's Cosmo, he's back. Stay over here, Cosmo, so you don't get dog napped. warming up my dark colored bibs here. He's gonna be wiped out tonight, guys. He'll just be sleeping on the floor of the couch, not being a menace.
guess it's Cosmo. Dumped it earlier. Stay. See Chase. Saw something. A leaf or something.
bouncing in the mud. See if we can uh, track some fish. mud cloud. Might be time to break the harmonica back out. Serenade them back in. Got less than an hour till we gotta leave. Need that one eater walleye to go with the one perch that we got that we kept. Luckily we don't catch anything else, I got a few more perch in the freezer to go with the one that I did catch today, so. The one walleye we caught, I forgot my tape measure, and the one walleye we caught was probably, uh, it was close to 15 inches. It may have only been 14 inches, so I decided to put it back. I should have gotten the ice scoop that had the actual ruler on it. <laughs> but I'll mark off for the, I'll take this ice scoop home and get my tape measure out and put some one inch marks on it. I probably could have kept it, I think. I'm just used to fishing on the Boisevane Reservoir and it has a 14 inch minimum. can't keep anything under 14 inches and you can't keep anything over 21 inches in Manitoba at least here in southern Manitoba but they may not have that 14 inch lower limit here on this lake but I'd still I'd rather keep I don't want really anything that's I want to keep one that's around 15 to 17 inches for for eating so I decided to throw it back anyway and like I said it's possibility it was only 14 inches and I couldn't keep it anyway, so I didn't want to risk it either way. Can't believe nothing has bit that live minnow over here. We've marked fish here, multiple fish. Had some bites, but nothing has touched that live minnow on the jaw jacker. Now that's what we caught the perch on earlier when we were back that way. Yeah, that's what I figured, Max. Thanks for clarifying that. I figured it was 14 inches here as well. So the one I caught was probably 14 and a half, but I couldn't confirm that. So I decided to toss it back in just to be safe. But it was probably between 14 and a half. It was, may have been 15. Oh, we got a looker, I think. Yeah, we got one looking. Got a mark. Oh, he did. Swam off, it looks like. Maybe I'll go for that live minute. But yeah, it was too close to uh, risk without knowing for sure what its length was, so I put it back. 
It was kind of on the, it was kind of small anyway. So oh, he's looking again. Here we go. It's looking. Come on, fish. I'm gonna raise it up, see if I can get him to chase it. He might be looking at the jaw jacker. Live minnow over here. Watch this over here. See if this sets. May have been a perch. It was a smaller mark unless it wasn't right under the hole. He's back. I'm gonna drop it in the mud, see if I can get him to hit it in the mud. He may be over here looking at the jaw jack because it's a small mark. He's not right underneath the hole, though. The other hole is kind of far from the The, the fish finder. I don't know if we'd be able to see anything on there, but he might be bouncing between the two holes. Gonna make sure there's no ice in this hole. Yeah, it's kind of froze over. Alright, cleared the ice. About time to check and make sure I still have a minnow on there. It's also about time we caught another one already. I know my my uh, ice scoop is 18 inches from the bottom to the very top of the handle because there was an ice scoop at the gas station that had measurements on it and I put them side by side. Just wasn't sure that one was bigger than 14. Fourteen's kind of small to keep anyway. Like I said, I like to keep them about at least 15 to like 16, 17 inches is the ideal size to keep. Get a nice big fillet. That fish is gone now. It's probably a perch.
gotta check to make sure I still got a minute over here on the jaw jacker. Feels like it. Yeah. Lively minnow too. Kicking away. Nothing's wanted to eat it. <laughs> Lucky minnow because there's been fish around. Yeah, it may have been 15 inches, but I wasn't for sure I didn't want to risk it. So I think it was probably 15 inches as well, but I was worried it was under 14 barely. So just to be safe, threw it back in. If it had been uh, looked an inch longer, then I would have kept it for sure. Uh, Cosmo here as you see the chip bag coming back out. Knees are getting sore. Been kneeling for a long time today.
one. Good, are you? Uh, you get any? Uh, one perch, one walleye. What do you think of walleye? Yeah, about, it was like, I might have been a little bit more than 14, maybe 15. I forgot the tape measure though, so Down. I tossed Down. it back. Cosmo! Down. Cosmo! Down. Come. Yeah. Cosmo, come. Yeah, it's been pretty slow. You've been here long? Yeah, I've been here since about 11 a.m. Oh. Yeah, pretty slow. Are you marking any? A uh, couple of marks, yeah, a few marks. A couple of Cosmo. But yeah. Good marks or no? Uh, a couple of bigger ones, yeah, but mostly uh, smaller ones. Yeah. Now. Like, yeah, I guess there was a fish kill a few years ago and it's starting to get up to size now. No. Oh, there was not? Told you that oh, okay. We've been four years of heavy duty fishing. Okay. And that took them all out, huh? Uh, not all of them. You know what I mean? Like, not all the fish. Don't get me wrong. The lake needed a little bit of a, a beating, you know what I mean? Because there was getting too many fish in there. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, ever since, uh, I don't know, social media almost, I, I would blame it on that. Okay, a lot of people coming out because of pressure from that? Yeah. 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 Lots of people don't believe that, but I, I live in town and I see what happens every day on the lake. Yeah. Summer, fall, winter. Taking the beating, like this lake is not like Lake Manitoba or Lake Winnipeg, you know what I mean? It can yeah. sustain a beating, right? Right, right. This one's a little bit different. Yeah, not quite as big, right? No. Yeah. Does it get, uh, it seems like it's mostly flat bottom all the way through, about the same depth, huh? Everywhere. Yeah, there's some points over there, too. See where all the people are there? There's a point. Yeah, I see that big there. clump of houses there. Is that what they're fishing on, a point? Yeah. If you ever go near that point, Already this year, so. They fell through? Yeah. Oh, really? It's thinner over there. Well, the, the points run out into the lake. You see where the land is stopped there? Yeah. Well, the point still keeps going probably 300, 400 yards, maybe 500 yards there. And believe it or not, the water moves back and forth across. There. Oh, okay. And it just seems to be like you weren't here first thing this morning, were you? No. It was, there was a big, uh, ice uh, happened down there about two kilometers. Okay. And you could hear it. It was like, just like thunder. It's shifting big time, huh? Yeah, because it warmed up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so don't drive past the point. <laughs> well, there is a heat that goes all the way across, but they're, they're driving across it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see there, it, yeah. Okay. You gotta be careful around there. Gotcha. Yeah. Is there, there's an aerator somewhere around here too, right? Yeah, there's great, great straight west of us. Okay. Great, see that tower? Yeah. It'll be south of the tower just from here there. And okay. And down the lake too. Okay. That white point, I don't know if you know where that is. Nah. You're from the states, aren't you? Well, I'm a, I just became permanent resident here in Manitoba, so. Why would you do that? Uh, my my uh, wife's Canadian. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just curious. I'm not trying to be noisy or nothing. Yeah, no. Wife's Canadian, son's Canadian, so. Okay. Yeah. So you were from North Dakota then? South Dakota, or, yeah, is where I was at before. What about? Uh, Spearfish. Oh, that's great by uh, Sturgis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Black Hills. So did you fish a lot of. Uh, Devil's Lake then or what? No, I've never fished Devil's Lake before. Oh really? Yeah. I was uh I lived in Texas for fifteen years and then I was in Colorado for a year and I was fishing in Colorado before I was uh up here, so in Texas for fifteen years. You know what's that just in Texas. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I grew up in northern Indiana, so I'm I grew up with the uh, ice fishing in winter and stuff. Okay, so but not 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 Ice as thick as this, though, eh? No, not as thick as this. Yeah. We'd get like eight to ten inches if we were lucky. Yeah, I, I, I drilled uh, two nights ago. I got 21 inches. Before. I was going to say it was close to two foot when I was cutting through it earlier. Yeah. 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 
So where did you reside to then? Uh, Boise Oh, okay. So yeah. You work there. You work there? Yeah, Western Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I usually feel I have a shack on the reservoir in Boise Bay, but. Are they catching fish there? Yeah, I've been doing really well there, but there's so many. I catch a lot of little jack out there. It's like little little wee guys. Yeah. Uh, Steal your bait and. But the walleye fishing's been pretty decent. And. Uh, the better ones, weren't they? Yeah, I was catching a lot of 16, 17 inches. You were eating some of them, weren't you? Oh yeah, for sure. There's nothing wrong with them out of the reservoir in the wintertime, is there? No, they're 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 great. Even in the the fall, I was catching them in the fall before the ice. Yeah. Caught a 30 incher out there. A 30 incher. In yeah, the master water? master angler. Holy. Yeah. I've only got one master in my life, and I got it this. Following this lake, there was 28 on the button. Right, yeah, mine was 30 on the button. That was my first master angler. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, good perch fishing too in the in the Boise Vane Reservoir. I've done a lot of fishing. I've fished on Lake Manitoba, Lake Winnipeg, Dauphin Lake, all over the place. And I've never that's the first master I ever got. Yeah. Of a walleye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of them on uh, Lake Winnipeg, a lot of masters. Oh. You've probably, you probably never been on that fucking lake. I haven't fished it yet, no. I wanna, I was thinking about doing the uh, the Gimli tournament, though, in February or March, whenever it is. Just to try it out. Not like, because of people, so many people. That and there's ice heaves, uh, probably, I don't know, 30, 25, 30 feet high. Oh really? Oh yeah. Good grief. Oh yeah. When that, that lake, it'll open up, man. It'll just open up a spot like about 20 feet across. Crazy. Well, and I, I know it's been slow for getting ice out there this year because of how warm it's been. So. Well, I have uh, two buddies that figure they're packing good fish, and they are good, but they're not pro or nothing. Yeah. And they were just up there, and they uh, one guy got all uh, three fish. One was a walleye, one was a sauger, and one was a Tulabee, I think it was. Okay. The other two guys didn't even get a fish. Wow. That was only two days ago. Oh, okay. Huh. It's just been slow, huh? Well, we obviously didn't run into them. Yeah. The yeah, there's a lot of area to cover there. Oh. And it's flat. It's like this lake, right? There's no structure or anything. Nothing. Just flat, wide open. She's the toilet bowl of Manitoba. Yeah. Or the prairies, I should say. Yeah, yeah. Although I hear the, the Lake of the Prairies uh it's has good. some structure right yeah it's good fishing yeah yeah a lot more structure there a lot deeper water right right yeah i was there and uh we camped out there this summer and caught like a you it's hard to keep any fish though because they're all too big so you can't hardly get any kind of eaters out there they're all like 23 plus inches out there that's what the problem is going to be here soon because i know they're going to put up 18 or 14 to 18 on I'm, I, I know they are yeah they've already put on uh, it's 14 to 21 now right 22 oh it's 22 okay 55 centimeters okay which is 21 and three quarters I guess. yeah yeah I remember the day was when I first moved here in 88 you could catch eight no problem man yeah eight not four yeah <laughs> The funny thing is, up in here in Canada, you can have a matey guy sit beside you. Yeah. Well, he can have 50 fucking pounds of fish. Right, they have no no restrictions. No. Yeah. yeah but us white guys, they restrict. Yeah. So I'm not too happy about that. Right. It is what it is. You got to live with it. But. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you work in Boise Bay? I uh, I travel. I'm a photojournal I'm my car is beat to hell because I'm a storm chaser. I right. I chase uh, storms and stuff. Uh, really? Yeah, I do freelance for AccuWeather and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. What does you ever? LOL, LOL stand for. Laughing out loud. Well, I figured that. But... <laughs> People <laughs> laugh at the car because it's all beat to hell from oh, hail okay. and storms. So I was having some fun one day and threw that on there. I see you live under. Uh... You have ornamental uh, crab or something? Yeah, oh, it's uh, yeah, it's those uh, the mountain elm. Mountain ash? A ash, yeah, mountain ash. You get lots of cedar waxwoods on yeah, there. Yeah, they're all over it the other day. That's why it was fine until that flock of cedar waxwoods came up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I thought. I thought it was a bunch of cedar waxwoods. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not sure.
and they went to town on it and were dropping them all over the car. <laughs> I got one in my front yard and I have them come in and then last week or so there's been uh, three ruffled grouse coming to it. Oh nice. Yeah. I had seven coming last year. Yeah. Oh, you can hunt those too around here, right? Yeah, I, don't, I, I would have popped a couple, but the wife said, don't you fucking buy Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, those wax wings were going nuts. I think they get drunk on those berries. Yeah, they do. They fly, fly into our windows all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I guess uh I mean just like all walleye fishing it gets better here towards sunset and dark, huh? Oh it is, it's way better. Yeah. Way better. I gotta go pick up the sun from daycare right mm -hmm. when it starts getting hot, so Yeah. I'm I'm gonna go up to the bar and have a couple of beers tonight. We've got Chase Ace on us up around 10,000. So. Okay. I haven't been there for about four months now. It's the time I go. You have a shack out here too? Yeah. 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 It's not a fancy one like a lot of these though. Yeah. Mine's pretty Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> well, all that matters is you got to keep warm in it. Yeah. I, I like fishing out of the truck. Yeah, I've done that too. I, I, Just right out the window. I don't know. I open my door and fish right like this. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> yeah. My fishing rod never leaves the dock in the wintertime. Yeah, and then you can move around. Cosmo! Oh, no Hi. You smell my puppy. Do ya? I got no treats. I'm sorry. No treats. No. No. Male or a female? A male. Okay. Thanks or not? No, not yet. Oh. He's yeah. just uh, barely a year old. Can't come in. No. Come here. Come, in, come get some right? chips. No. Over here. <laughs> oh, geez. He wants some potato chips. Yeah. Well, you have a good day. Yeah, you too. Nice talking to you. Yeah, you too. Cosmo, come. Say. Cosmo, come. Three seventeen, guys. Just about time to pack up here soon. No, I'm not chasing tomorrow. There's a, there is a severe risk in like Alabama, but it's a long ways to go for a mediocre setup for one day. Yeah, that guy lives on the lake, he said.
Cosmo. Gotta start pre-packing. Put the minnows away. Put some of the other stuff away. start the car up and start warming it up.
Asma, get in the kennel. Hey, you're welcome, Jersey, Texas. Gonna drive off the ice now, guys. Cosmo wants to go play with that other dog. Well guys, we ended up with just uh, the one perch and one walleye today. And now is the time to come out though. If you're going to fish for walleye, I would come out now and be out here until after dark. But I got to go back to Boise Bay to pick up my son Jet from daycare.
gotta find the path off the ice now. on shore. All right, guys, thanks for coming along with me on the live ice, ice fishing adventure today here in Nanette, Manitoba on Pelican Lake, fishing for walleye. We ended up with one walleye and one perch. So a little slow today, but we're having to leave right before prime time. Now it's time to be out, but I have to get back to uh, pick up my son from daycare. So we'll, uh, we'll do another live ice fishing adventure again here soon. Maybe Monday, this time back in the ice shack. Or maybe we'll go somewhere else. We'll see. We'll try some, we could go try for some trout. Although well, it's not good cell service out some of the trout lakes. So we'll see. All right, guys. You guys have a good rest of your Friday. A good Friday. A good weekend. And we'll see you next time. See ya.